Okay, 1917 Henderson Model G. Completely, immaculately restored, guys, up on the block. Expensive bike here, Paul. <laughs> yeah, one would expect that. Yeah. This is the last year of Henderson production under William Henderson, who designed them. He was the son of the uh, founder of the Winton Car Company, was obsessed with four-cylinder motorcycles, designed his own. His father, eventually, he criticized his, for his designs for years, but when he kind of got it right, his father raised $50,000. They built a prototype. It went so well, they started production, and those are the Henderson 4s. Surprisingly modern. Look at that engine. Yeah, he was a he was a brilliant designer. These are so elegant. Look how long it is, how low, the quality of the work. I mean, this is this is a, a heavy restoration, but it was always a very 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 beautiful motorcycle. Wow. Reserve is off, gentlemen. One hundred eighty thousand dollars. Not surprising. No, nope. we knew it was going to be expensive. We're going to find out how expensive here in just a few moments. Right, right. And here's the cool thing. There's always a cadre of riders who are on four-cylinder Hendersons like this on the Cannonball. They ride them across the country. They have, a, they have a team. They band together. They do modifications to increase the uh, reliability of the bikes. They often have modern crankshafts. And there we go. Yes, indeed. That's our number one bike of the day today. $185,000 for that 1917 Henderson.